speaking more kind of on this theme of futurism that you do, that you just mentioned, how will generative AI impact daily life, not only at work, but also at home? Do you have some specific interesting examples that might blow people's minds? Again, every aspect of our our life will be affected. So for me, a, a perfect example is how we search the internet. Um, traditionally, we would Got put a search term into Google and then get served lots of possible websites that might contain answers. And then we have to click through the different websites to find answers. My kids that are between 12 and 18 years old, they simply use Gen AI. They use the they use Chat GPT or the the GPT-4 version that is as that is now part of Snapchat. Um, I don't. I'm sure you've you've talked about this on the show that Snapchat added an an, an AI friend to everyone's um, Snapchat friend list, and this is this amazingly powerful friend that knows everything and can answer your questions. So that means kids they want help with their homework, they can simply ask the AI. They don't have to Google about how do I solve this formula. They take a snapshot of it on their camera phone and say, hey, this is my homework. Can you explain this to a 12-year-old how I solve this? Or another really good example is, is taking a photograph of the content of your fridge and saying, hey, can you suggest some recipes for me? And again, you can take it to completely new levels. So if you are gluten intolerant, you can just say it. Hey, I don't want to use this. I don't want to make sure there's no gluten in it. I want to have those health benefits. And it is for me, AI will become this genie that sits on your shoulder that will help you to do every everyday task better than you could previously do.